Audio Jungle. As of 1990, the ECOWAS region had a total population of 180.8 million, doubling to 393.4 million in 2019, making it the third most populous regional economic communities on the continent. However, by 2043, the total population is expected to reach 765.1 million. This is why the ECOWAS energy sector is keen on boosting regional infrastructure for a more responsive economic and environmental friendly for growth and productivity. Part of its main areas of action is the installation of a production capacity of 25,421 gigawatts distributed by 77% Tana, 22% Hydro and 1% Solar and Wind aimed at increasing electricity access from 45% in 2019 to an average of 53% in 2023 and with the implementation of WAP Master Plan for Regional Power Generation and Transmission Facilities for 2019 to 2033 as well as the Electricity Access Program for both on-grid and off-grid networks. The essence is to close disparities in electricity access between the rural and urban, which stands at 10% and its intra-regional electricity exchange at 9%. It is worthwhile to note that infrastructure is the backbone of any development with production factors of nearly 40%. Citizens can only benefit from the regional endowment should there be increased megawatts to enhance economic activities in the sub-region. Briefing on the measures taken by the institution to reduce hardship, the ECOWAS Commissioner for Infrastructure, Energy, Mines, Water Resources, Digitalization and Postal Service, Sedi Kodoka, said specialized agencies in the field of energy such as the West African Power Pole WAP, domicile in Kotonou Bene, the Regional Electricity Regulatory Authority in Accra, Ghana, the Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency in Prake Vedo and the West African Gas Pipeline Authority in Abuja, Nigeria have been set up to meet the current need and aspirations of the citizens. He noted that this move will increase intra-community trade, which is as low as 15%, while reducing the high rate of regional electricity price at 0.24%. 2019 and 2033 on 15 years, and this master plan uh, includes 75 regional projects. And within the 75, we have uh, 47 energy generation projects, 28 electricity and connection network projects, and it has an objective of the aims to generate. 16,000 16, megawatts with almost 11, so representing 70% using re renewable energy. So 11,000 on the 16,000 should come from renewable energy. This is our objective. Uh, and also, uh, we know we have uh, gas potential in the region. We said. 31% of thermal power plant should come from natural gas. This is our objective within the region. And also, this master plan aims to offer 23,000 kilometers of electricity interconnection line to be built. All this for a cost of almost uh, 36 billion US dollars. Uh, Within the statistics, we have uh, 26 for generation and uh, 10 for transmission and interconnection lines. While speaking on the ECOWAS project implementation, Serico stresses that 14 out of the 15 member states are interconnected as efforts are already in place for Kevedo's connection to enable her to tap from the enormous power grid. All these 14 countries are interconnected presently. And in Kutunu, uh, we 
have what we call information and the coordination center. It's a big building, like this building, and we have a big room like this one, where we have all the electric transmission electric lines for the 15 equal countries. So what it means? Normally, by June of this year, because it was delayed, it can be possible to buy or to sell electricity within the poorest countries. The commissioner also revealed that the ECOWAS Regional Electricity Access Project and Battery Energy Storage System are in two phases, aims to increase electricity access for West Africa populations to facilitate the connection of electrical grid for 1.1 million households in nearly 600 localities. Achievement in rural electrification presently, or we have executed some projects, uh, two projects completed, uh, funded by the uh, European Union in Senegal and Cap Verde, and we have five in progress. For example, presently in the uh, Gambia, Guinea Bissau, Mali, Niger, Senegal, we have what we call uh, regional uh, electricity access project that aims to construct uh, or to electrify some localities, particularly in rural areas. And the implementation is going presently to physical infrastructure in the rural uh, areas. We have, for example, from one event from 2010 to now, we help or we assist some five countries, not five countries exactly Guinea, Bissau, Guinea, Uganda, Sierra Leone, and Mali for a total cost of almost. 150 million US dollar in form of grants for a program that we call Emergency Power Supply Program. And all this we have was give grants to these countries and they implement this project uh, for the issue of uh, emergency power supply. He helped on encouraging households, commercial enterprises, and committee institutions with a harmonized regional approach financed by the World Bank for the Regional Off-Grid Electricity Access Project aims to increase electricity access through isolated solar systems. What we call the solar farm project of approximately 150 megawatts in Mali, Niger, the Republic of Regional Paso, Gambia, and Nigeria, meaning that I can use gas, I can use uh, wind, solar to produce kilowatt hour and to sell it to the scope for, for the distribution or to industry. It's a, it can be a cementry, it can be a raffinery, like a tambour de raffinery and or what happens to raffinery. Also to caution the effect of hardship in the region, the commissioner noted that there is an existing 681 km gas pipeline network linking Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Ghana to enable the supply of petroleum products and also to increase access to clean cooking energy for the populations and make LPG the preferred cooking energy for households by 2030 with 45% penetration rate in the Equus region. Of our country, the power to make utilities they have serious problem of uh, surgery, serious problem of uh, electricity loss, and uh, a serious issue of collection. So sometimes there is some training and uh, software that we provide to them in order to assist them to perform in terms of for how to maintain the network, how to operate the network, how to design it, how to monitor uh, the end users, the, the consumers, because when there is electricity loss, you know there is uh, technically we have what we call technical loss, but but 
the huge one, the big one comes from commercial loss. Because if you don't monitor your customers, you can use not you can lose a lot of energy. Because we have some examples in our countries where, for example, the energy loss can represent uh, almost or more than 50 percent. Meaning that if I have uh, 100 kilowatt hours from a power plant that I have to deliver, perhaps it's only 40 kilowatt hour that I can do or 50 kilowatt hour that I can do because uh, most of this energy is lost there. either technically, either lack of monitoring of the consumers by theft of electricity. The other issue is uh, the renewable energy. As I told you, we have a specific center in charge of renewable energy located in Paya Capgarde. So this one also uh, implements some physical infrastructure projects. We have many examples disseminated uh, in uh, the On the regional energy sector, Sedeco said over the years the Directorate of Energy and Mines has made significant impact in giving visibility to ECOWAS citizens on social economic integration for the well being and prosperity of the sub region. He uses the medium to inform the populace that ECOWAS does not only focus on political, peace, and security affairs but also the well-being and economic development of the entire region. Vincent Okushi, reporting for Quality Television.